Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Julie with Bookshelf by Julie. We're back in our Stamperia uh, section here. Um, and, and as I said, I'm making two of these. So, um, they're going to be just little minis. I'm using the House of Roses. It's an 8x8 eight eight paper pack. And the envelopes are 6 and a quarter by 4 and a half. So, Making minis using the Stamperia. It's just a little bitty paper pack. You don't get a lot in this, so you have to be very strategic and, you know, all that. <laughs> so I've got a couple of things ready. I've got a little bit done in this one. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. I used this one for the front. Um, and then I used the rest of it over here and the rest of it here. Like I said, I'm not going to have... A bunch of leftover scraps I'm gonna use them somewhere somehow to where I, the whole thing's gone when I'm done with these right that's my that's my goal okay so let's get into this one I um, I had to have this one as a front cover because well that's beautiful this is beautiful the whole thing's really pretty well there's a Y page but if you don't know what I'm talking about you have to go back to the other video <laughs> anyways um, so let's put this one together. I've got a few ideas. This is a couple of pages. And, uh, so yeah, let's just do this. <laughs> Get this out of the way. This is what I've got left. I've been cutting things up. Um, the little journal cards and, you know, making plans and stuff with it. Uh, but you know, we take it a little bit at a time because you have to plan these things out, right? So let's do this back here first because it'll be lumpy bumpy in the way if I don't, okay? What I've done is, uh, this was a page, as you can see it fits right together, um, but it was too big for this and um, so I took it apart for one whole page here and then uh, part of a page here, and this is a leftover piece off of this page that I'm putting on as a, a side tuck gusseted pocket, hopefully. So that's what I'm doing. So that way you use everything up, excuse my reach, and you don't have to worry about a whole bunch of stuff laying around your, your craft room, your house, your everything. I saw this um, this meme that said this that had this lady said, "See, all my craft stuff fits in a box." And the guy says, uh, "Please quit calling our house a box." So I mean, you know, I like to keep things in order, but you know, uh, <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. Anyways, we're going to get this down, and uh, I don't know. We're just getting the the thing put together, getting it um, not upside down. Okay, it goes this way, for real. All right, I want it right up, not in the fold, but right close to it, so that you can really see that that picture just sort of carries over, right? Okay. Now with the Stamperia, you do have to watch it because you can't stack a whole bunch of images. I love to do the stacked image thing because, well, I'm, I think it's pretty. And you don't lose any of the pretty, but with this kind of paper, you have to watch it because you will have to make choices that maybe you don't even want to make because, you know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, I chose to do this to help me out with um, and help you guys out if you have some paper pads laying around then there you go but I didn't have my digitals that I wanted to have ready ready that makes sense I don't know 
anyways, I didn't. So, and that's on me. Well, I blame it on COVID, but okay. So I want this up to the edge uh, and right sort of there. <laughs> sort of there. Does that make sense? Um, and you see that's the front of the <laughs> uh, the front of the paper pack. But that's okay. Nobody's going to see that really. Unless they, you know, rip it off and look. Anyways. Um, so this was my, I don't know, stop gap measure. <laughs> it's my, what I'm doing to, because I didn't have other things ready because of, you know, COVID and flu and whatever else, you know. So I'm doing Stamparia. It's pretty. And minis are always fun. And like I said in the other video, if you don't have a a, a printer, then, you know, that's the way to go. Unless you want to buy my printed packs for my digitals, because, you know, then I could even replenish you. Um, so there you go. You've got a gusseted pocket here, and that just barely goes over the edge of that. It's just pretty, right? I think it is. Okay, so let's do this side. <clears throat> Excuse me. Put that to the side. And I kind of want to make sure that I line this up so that that picture is, you know, flowing. <laughs> if, that, if that makes sense at all. Okay, so let's do this. And hopefully I can get the flow that I want. Uh, yeah, if you guys have any of these Stamperia paper pads laying around, the next one I'm going to do is the um, the forest one, you know, that has the squirrel on front. <laughs> um, I do love nature, and that one's really pretty. It's uh, one of my favorites. Then again, so is this one. Just, it creates a challenge, this one, in that I don't want to... Uh, cover up the pretty paper so um so yeah I uh I have to make you know those kind of decisions so I do things like this there you go uh I'm still I'm still working on my convalescing <laughs> uh Hopefully one of these days I'll be done with COVID and the flu and all that. And I can just sound like a normal person again and, you know, <laughs> uh, feel like at least my normal, gosh. <laughs> uh, okay, now, as you can see, I'm being a good girl. I've got my mat, my silicone mat under here because, you know, glue happens. Now I've got this one under here, gusted pocket, and then you open it up to that pretty page. Now, if you wanted to, you could do all kinds of things with this. It's just, if you want to cover up pieces of it, you could do a corner, um, but be careful where you put your corner because it's okay to cover up the, for me, it's okay to cover up the brick, but, um, maybe not that so I don't know it's just a um, like I said you have to be very strategic so that you don't cover up what you want to show right again that's the cover of the book so uh, I'm using the inside cover for my front cover which is really pretty so I don't know. I think I'm going to try to do as much creativity as I can in my COVID bebogglement with this and see if I can uh, still have a lot of the pretty showing because I don't want to cover up uh, a lot of the really pretty uh, paper. I mean, why have pretty paper if you're going to just cover it up, right? Or that's my philosophy. Other people may think differently, but that's okay. Um, there's a there's room in our world for everybody in their 
thinking mostly. Not the bad thinking, just, you know, different creative ways of thinking. Okay, now. <clears throat> uh, okay, so yep, House of Roses. I'm using um, uh, the six, six and a quarter by four and a half envelopes. Um, I got my notes beside me. That's why I'm um and I'm looking to see if I need to tell you anything else. <laughs> uh, but yeah, just uh, put it together however you want. I mean, there's a lot of pretty pages in there that you can choose from. This one I'm going to kind of... It doesn't matter that this one would flow to this page because that's where my signature will be. And this one I would probably try to find another flowy page to work with. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. I was trying not to have that happen on this video, but sorry. <coughs> Creeping crud is still around. So, um, and then I'll have to pick me a good back for that. Isn't that pretty, though? And, you know, just picture it with lace and embellishments and stuff. It's just a thing. So, on this one, I've got just that pocket. Because I wanted to, you know, on the front cover, you're not going to carry the page over. But I still like that. So, then I've got, a, you know, a little bit more nudging myself to get some more stuff done on that one so i've got where did i put that <laughs> okay i've got this page which will go i mean the whole thing will go with itself that's you know that's how you do it with um no matter what you're doing a digital or paper or whatever but we've got so much to work with here to where i may put some of these birds like this piece here in this one and put some of the um, the roses and such over on the other one, like this here. I don't know. I've got a lot of thinking and planning and stuff. Um, and we've got things that we can use for, like, corner pieces and stuff like that. These are going to be what I already told you. You know, I'm going to back some of those with file folder because they're just, it's not that sturdy. Anyways, these will be paper clips such and such and such and such okay this is going to be a pretty page in the journal because I like that I know it looks a little bit scruffy but I, I really like that um, just about as much as I like that so I know I'm weird but that's what I'm doing right now and I've got some more planning to do this is probably something I'm going to split and put some in one and some in the other. Maybe this part over here and this part over here. I don't know. I'm going to put it somewhere though. And then we've got this top swag up here that we can use in another, you know, if you cut that off, that would be a pocket or a belly band or whatever you want to make it. You have to look at things a little bit differently when you, you just don't want to cover all the pretty up. That's my, with me, that's the way it is. So, um, if you've got this kit, <laughs> I hope you're crafting along uh, this uh, paper pad. It's not a kit. Um, let me know what you're doing um, or what you would do if you if you did have it. I mean, it's only $5.40. And if you have Prime, it's free shipping. So there you go. Um, so, yeah, just let me know what you would do. I, I'm open to suggestions. I think... I think this, I'm going to put some birds in here because I don't want this one to just be heavy on the birds and this one heavy on the roses. I want them to ha both have birds and roses. Mm, does that make sense? <laughs> I hope it makes sense. That's what, look, with COVID beboglement, I'm not always making sense, but I'm trying. Okay, so there you go. That's what I'm doing for now. And I've got some more ideas to do some creative things where I don't cover up all the pretty. Now, this down here, I may have to make me a pocket because, you know, that would cover up one pretty rose. But, maybe I can find something in the paper pad to pretty that up as well when I do the cover thingy. I like to have a little bit of interaction on the cover. 
right? Okay, I'm going to quit rambling now. You guys take care. Please like and subscribe, pretty please. <laughs> Thanks for watching. TTFN. Thank you.